Here is Makai Becton on the challenges from last season and how he tries to spin this thing forward. Had a lot of injuries last year that limited his play. Here's what he was asked and what he had to say. How challenging was last year for you? It was, it was really, it was really like, just a lot of adversity, you know, like just a lot to come from, like just trying to come better than what you did the rookie year and then just to get hurt and be out all season. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot to handle, but I'm definitely coming back with that chip on my shoulder. Do you feel like people have kind of written you off already? Yeah, and I don't, I don't understand why, but it's all good, though. I'm going to make them eat their words. His T-shirt said in the middle, big bust. Around it, the words were fat, lazy, out of shape, injury prone, bum, sucks, and overweight. I love it. That is one hell of a shirt. I love that it. That is quite the shirt. Wouldn't that be great to to get a shirt that is just like word salad of all the things the haters say about me? As a constant reminder to the world, I'm aware of it, and I'm not that, and I got no problem wearing this shirt to let you all know you are going to eat your words. Yeah, I, I mean, it, I think, it, you know, it's a good sign to me. That's a guy that, that shows he's a little motivated in the way he's talking right there. He's Yeah, there's a chip on his shoulder. He's pissed off. He doesn't like the way the Jets fans and people up here in the Northeast have been talking about him. You know, there is a lot of, like, bus talk and, you know, what is this guy? And, of course, about his weight and the injury and all of that stuff. He is extremely talented. He's got to stay healthy. Yes, that's the biggest thing. Stay healthy, keep the weight in check, and he's a guy that could be franchise left tackle for 10 years and be making $22 million a year. He has that type of ability. So now he's just got to go out and do it. But, I mean, the Orlando Browns of the world, the Trent Browns of the world, this is the kind of human being he is as far as size-wise. It's 6'5 or 6'6. Six, six. It's what, Mike, 350? Probably close wow. to 360, right? He's listed He's listed as 6'7, 364. If he's really 6'7, yeah. 364 may be the right three numbers. They may just not be in the right order. <laughs> well, they're, 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 that's the good day, the 364, when you're probably that. So that's probably like the lightest he actually is or has been. But yeah, he's got to stay on top of that. But man, if he does. And you hear some of the Jets coaches talk about it even last offseason and, and into the preseason a little bit. He does things on the football field where you go, whoa, is he really moving that quickly? Whoa, did he just have one arm and throw that guy like he was like a, a toy doll? I mean, that, that's, he's special that way. So I'm rooting for him, and I hope he does prove some people wrong. And for the sake of the Jets, they need him to play well. Played in one game last year due to injury. And injuries happen. They are inherent to the sport. There are parts of your body, if they get hit the wrong way at the wrong time, are going to break. They're going to strain. They're going to tear. You're not going to be able to play. It happens. It is an injury-prone sport. The people aren't injury-prone. The game is injury-prone. That's how it works. And some guys just aren't lucky. Now, at a certain point, it's not a matter of luck. It's just a matter of constitution or body. I mean, certain people just can withstand the pounding. Emmett sure. Smith, we talk about running backs all the time. It's right. inevitable you're going to get injured. Well, Emmett Smith, it was inevitable that he was going to play no matter what was wrong with him. Sure. He found a way to get it done. He was right. built a certain way, and he wasn't he, – the hits that would injure others didn't injure him. Yeah, again, we don't, no. we don't know until you throw the guy into the fray at that level if his body – can withstand it. Certain bodies can and certain bodies can't. And no. some big yeah. bodies still can't. You're right. It doesn't matter. You're not indestructible just because you're 6'7", 360. And that's why you got to play, Mike. That is, it's a real thing. Like what you're talking about there, yes, it's you know natural to some people. And the fact that they have the sixth sense a little bit of, oh, I just know how to put my body in a certain position that kind of gets it out of harm's way when you're in the mosh pit of people. And there's some guys that are just – they're gifted at that. They know how to do it. And, yeah, you're a little lucky, too. But the other thing is, is when you play, you learn that stuff as well. You, you learn, you know, oh, I, I was in this situation before and somebody fell on my ankle. Let me, oh, here it is again. Let me get my feet out of the ground so it doesn't happen. You start to learn the little nuances of protecting your body while also trying not to protect it. 
You know, there there is something that is a learned skill there. I bet you Tom Brady could talk about it. I bet you he could tell you about the way he got sacked, you know, year one or year two of his career. He has a different thought or feeling that goes through his brain now because he knows how to go with it or just take the hit. Don't fight against it. Just go to the ground with the guy. There's no point in straining and trying to hold up and do those. You do learn that stuff, and that's why you do want to play because you get to a point where all of a sudden you've played and you feel like, man, this is like riding a bike. I'm, I'm not going to get hurt. I'm good out here. And you just got to kind of get over that hump and get enough games in to, to get that type of experience. It is amazing when you look at the scrum that unfolds offensive and defensive line every game. The bodies get all twisted up in there and there aren't more broken legs, broken arms, broken anything when everything starts to happen, especially that dynamic of I'm just standing there blocking a guy right, and someone falls on my leg uh -huh. from behind and breaks my ankle or tears my ACL. And some of that's unavoidable, but I agree with you. You get an idea of, of just how to flow away from everything else, how to properly handle yourself so you aren't susceptible to that weird fluke thing that we see happen sometimes, but not nearly as often as you would think it would. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're right. I mean, it's, it's, it is amazing. And, I mean, again, I, I can speak to myself and how many times I gave the ball to the running back running up the middle and saw collisions and people fall on each other and just go, oh, my gosh, I don't know how that guy survived. And, holy cow, that guy almost lost his leg. He was an, an inch inch closer there. The leg he's going to broke, it's broken, it snaps. I mean, it's, it's, it's a brutal sport. And, again, I think that goes back to why we support the players when it's time to get new money and we want them to get it. Uh, you don't – it's not a doctor or a lawyer – you can't do it until you're 60 years old. You only have a short period of time, and you got to make it make it count when you're there. And Mackay Becton, the Jets, Zach Wilson, we'll see if they can make it count this year. There's potential there, but can you put it all together and learn to win in the NFL? That's another skill in itself, and they're going to have to learn that there in, in New York. You say 60 like it's really old. There was a time in my life where 60 was really old. Now that I'm three years away, wow. Well, two years and 51 weeks away, it ain't that old anymore. Yeah. Well, it is from where I'm Doesn't sitting. Sound, Looks it, old well, from over here. <laughs> the, only, the only problem is I will never be able to fully enjoy you aging because I will still be. <laughs> like, it's going to be hard for me to laugh at you yeah, I know. turning 60 because yeah. – I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, you'll All be right. 76. That's why. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> 76 thanks. If I'm alive. Or 74. If I'm alive. Yes. <laughs> Who knows? All right, let's go ahead and take a break. The Chris Sims Top 40 Quarterback Countdown for 2022. We've got four left. We'll give you four and three when PFT Live continues right after this. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.